on here real quick and talk about sustainability. I did a video on my personal page and I wanted to give you guys some of that information to hopefully simplify your lives when it comes to fitness and nutrition. Because let's face it, at the end of the day, you're not going to stick to a plan that's not sustainable. And I talk about this often, man, but this comes, this goes to, with fitness and nutrition both. And I'll give you examples on both. All right, here's the deal, man. So if, if you're someone who either doesn't work out much, and we'll start with fitness. If you're someone who doesn't work out much or is very inconsistent with your exercise routine, I challenge you to do some soul searching and figure out why. And I'm gonna tell you right now, the reason that you're not sticking to your, te to your uh, routine is probably not, it probably doesn't have anything to do with motivation. It probably has to do with the fact that you dread or hate your routine, you see. Sustainability is this, when it comes to fitness, and I'll use this example all the time, is if you're not a gym person and you're trying to force yourself to go to the gym, that's not sustainable, man. You need to find something that works for your lifestyle that you don't dread or you don't hate. You don't have to love it. And I'm not going to sit here and tell you that I love to go to the gym. I'm on the way there right now, but that I love to go to the gym every single time I go because that's just not the truth. I'll be full of transparent with you guys. The bottom line is this. There's many days each week where I'm like, shit, this, the thought of going to the gym just sucks, you know, and, and, and I get it. And so, but I've gotten myself to a place mentally where I don't hate it and I don't dread it. I just know that I need to get through the workout. And when the workout's done, I'm going to feel a hell of a lot better because I did. So, and so that's the, the, the one piece on fitness that I'll add there, man. It's just so important to find something that's sustainable. Now, I'm not telling you that you, do, you shouldn't step out of your comfort zone sometimes and, and continue to challenge your body because obviously that's what's going to give you optimal results. But at the end of the day, if you're looking for general health and just really to lose weight, maintain weight, whatever your goal is, you know, not everybody needs to set out to be the next freaking Jay Cutler or, you know, Ronnie Coleman. Like I get it. Not everybody wants to be a damn bodybuilder and that's fine. But you know, if you're, if you're just looking for general health and you're just looking to feel better and have better energy levels, um, maintain your weight, get off medications, whatever the hell it may be for you. I'm telling you right now, you need to find something that's sustainable for your lifestyle. And I know that sounds easier said than done, but start doing some soul searching figure out what you enjoy, what has worked for you in the past that you could potentially stick to. Maybe you've done something in the past that you really enjoyed and you haven't tried it for a while. Maybe that's bike riding. Maybe that's just walking. It doesn't matter. Uh, there, there are plenty of people that are uh, in my industry that are you know, just full of shit when it comes to things that you have to do. The bottom line is you don't have to do anything. If you're looking to improve your health or level up with your health, you just need to do something that's going to get you more active, get you feeling better, get you dropping a little bit of weight, get you building some momentum and some confidence. Those things are so key to long-term success. But you're not going to get those things within, if you're trying to force yourself to do something every time. Find something that it's not that you don't dread or that you don't hate, that's somewhat sustainable. You know, that's the bottom line. So so I'll end my soapbox on the fitness piece there, but now I'm gonna get into a little bit of nutrition and this where, this is where a lot of you guys might be able to benefit. There's a lot of people in this group that are that are very, uh, very busy, busy professionals, busy executives, entrepreneurs, uh, whatever it may be, you guys all live a, a, a very busy lifestyle. Most of you aren't sitting sitting behind a desk all day or, or don't work from home and don't have a very structured routine you can follow. A lot of you are on the go. A lot of you are business owners. Maybe you're a roofer, whatever it may be. I say roofer because I have a lot of those people in my network, but um, those are a lot of my clients and I work with a lot of people who are busy and on the go frequently. So here's what I challenge you to do. And this is what I'm huge on is find these go-to meals and go-to snacks that can become consistent in your life. Don't try to force, you know, chicken, brown rice, and broccoli every meal. You know, you can go online right now and print off a meal plan that's going to tell you to do that shit, and it's just not sustainable. That's not reality for many of you guys. That's just it. Like, if you're on the go a lot, you're not going to have brown rice, chicken, and broccoli. If you're on the go, could you potentially pack a cooler and make yourself a pretty healthy sandwich on whole grain bread and throw some vegetables or some fruit in there? Absolutely. That's a, a very good alternative. But you, you know, I, I understand that it's not reality to have fucking salmon and quinoa and asparagus for lunch at 12 o'clock when you're on the road. I understand these things. So that's why I'm trying to 
simplify this process for you and, and, and give you guys uh, actionable steps that you can create these sustainable lifetime habits that will end up giving you long-term success. And that's all I want for you. So that's what I want you to think in terms of. So a couple of examples that I'm going to give for you guys is one that one that I'm a huge proponent of, and that's health. When it comes to healthy fats, that's that's something you need more of in your life. Most people don't eat enough healthy fats. So what I'll tell you is this: find something, you know, whether that could be pecans, walnuts, almonds, pistachios. What you want to do, and, and this is where you want to be careful, though, is that a quarter of a cup of pistachios is 180 calories. A quarter of a cup of almonds, 170 calories. These things add up quickly in calories. But if you bag these things up before you start your day, and this is my quote-unquote meal prep for you, I don't expect you to spend four hours or six hours on a Sunday prepping all this shit for the week. That's just no way to live. I get that it's not sustainable for most people. Most of you are busy. Do not have time to commit four or six hours grilling and all that baking and all this nonsense on a weekend. My meal prep idea for you is just to have these go-to snacks, go-to meals, ready to go, ready to grab when you, when you need something or you're in a pinch, and that can set you up for success. Last thing you want to be doing is skipping meals, skipping snacks. All that does is make you hungrier and hungrier and hungrier. Your body then goes, you know, you, you get that hangry mode going, and you're like, fuck, I need something to eat bad. Let me stop at this fast food. If you can eliminate those those pitfalls that many people experience because they don't plan ahead, and when I say plan ahead, this is just a little bit of planning each day. When you go into the uh, go into the day, if that means packing a cooler for your lunch, having a sandwich, a couple of bags of nuts, a couple of pieces of fruit, you know, a yogurt, whatever it may be, those things can add up to the long term success. And that's what I want you to get out of this: is sustainability is key. I have a lot of clients I work with who are just quite frankly cannot, you know, take an hour out of their day to, to go cook and, and prep all this shit in the middle of the day. You've got to find ways to incorporate these go-to meals, these go-to go snacks into your lifestyle so that you can have consistency. Consistency leads to momentum. Momentum leads to confidence and confidence leads to an unstoppable mindset where you you're going to continue to get maximum results. So for many people, the fitness piece, uh, a, a lot of people focus so much on the fitness piece. Once you can get the fitness piece consistent in your life, you can commit that one hour a day. That one hour a day provides you that consistent exercise in your life and that part becomes easy. The other 23, or 23 hours a day where you basically have tons and tons of opportunity to take a few steps back or take a few steps forward when it comes to nutrition. That's the difficult part for most people. And so when you're finding these challenging situations, I urge you to start identifying these go-to meals, these go-to snacks that can become consistent in your life. For, and even if that's a protein shake, if you guys need protein shake suggestions, let me know. I'm aligned with some solid comp or a solid company where I've Firmly believe in their products that I've been utilizing a lot lately. If you're in a pinch, a protein shake and a damn handful of almonds goes a long way. And that can quote unquote be a meal. Most people don't see that as a meal. But at the end of the day, it prevents you from skipping a meal or a snack and, le and doesn't lead you down that path of hangriness where then you're going into a fast food joint and getting some shit you know you shouldn't be eating. But that's what happens. And it's a vicious cycle. And I'm trying to encourage you guys to break that cycle. Think outside of the box. Step outside of your busy lifestyle for a little bit and start identifying some of these things that can become consistent in your life. Consistency is the key to success, just like with business. I'm telling you right now, if you guys are consistent and you show up every damn day in your business, you start to see results, right? Well, if you show up every day with your fitness and your nutrition and you step outside of the box and you can say, holy shit, I can really simplify things if I just do a few of these things, the bottom line is you're going to have so much more success moving forward, guys. And that's what I want you to do is avoid some of the pitfalls that most of our country is going through right now and start to build this momentum. The momentum is key for your success moving forward. I hope you got something out of this. I love every single one of you guys. Y'all have a fantastic rest of your day. Crush your health goals first and foremost, your financial goals second, and the rest will take care of itself. Y'all take care.